Hello everybody, my name is Lewis, I'm from Energy Smart and I'm going to give you a quick explanation on what to expect on a site visit. So when we arrive on site, once we explain, introduce ourselves to the customer, we'd normally come back on the outside of the property just to have a visual look, just so we've got our bearings of the property. And we have to take a few photos for auditing purposes. So what we do, we normally start outside the front, then we'll work our way through to the back just so we've seen the whole property, as we have to split the property into extensions. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to get a quick picture of the front of the property and this is just for all of the purposes um, and I'm going to get a few pictures of where you can see the cavity injection holes just so we can prove that it is actually filled. Yeah, so now I'm at the back of the property um, and I'm going to get a couple of pictures first of all just for all of the purposes again. And now we're at the back of the property, we can see the property's got a single storey flat roof extension at the side. So we're going to have to split that up to account for the flat roof there. And this property is a bit of an unusual property. It has had cavity wall installation, but it's been done on an older system where they actually take out the core of the brick and they inject the cavity wall installation in and then they fill in the core of the brick. It's a bit of an unusual one, but you can see one injection hole here just underneath the window and if you look each side of the window you'll be able to see another one here and if we come to this window here or sorry in between the windows here you can see where the core of the brick's been taken out here and I'll show you one more and we can also see this one here where the core's been taken out the insulation has been injected and then it's been filled back up all right, so that, that's me all done on the outside of the property. So for the rest of the assessment, we'll be inside the property. Um, a normal site visit takes about 20 to 40 minutes, depending on the complexity of, complexity of the property. And then the rest of it is all finished on the desktop. Now that I'm on the inside of the property, the first thing I tend to do is get a few measurements just so we've got the size of the property. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So that's the first measurement I need. Okay. So now that I've got all the measurements for the property, I've put them all into the software. And what I've done here, you can see this area here is the main house and this blue part here is the single storey flat roof extension. And this software actually calculates all the areas for you and all the heat loss elements for you. So you can see these areas here are the heat loss walls for the main house and these are the heat loss walls for the extension here. And this software actually calculates them all for you. And that's the first floor there. So now that I've got all the measurements for the property, I can see that the property's got central heat, got a central heating system. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the boiler. I need to take a little bit of information off that, the, the exact make and model number of the boiler. And we have that in our database and that will tell us everything we need to know about the boiler. So the customer's told me the boiler's in the, in the downstairs bathroom here. So that's where I'm going to work my way to now. Same thing again, I've got to take some information off the boiler itself. And as you can see here, this is the actual make and model of the boiler and that will tell us everything we need to know about the system itself. Okay, so now that I've got the make and model of the boiler, the next thing I'm going to look at is the heat control for the system. So as you can see on this radiator here, the radiators have thermostatic radiator valves. And if you come through to the hallway here, you can see that the property also has a room thermostat. And if we work our way into the kitchen, you can see that it's got a program up or timer with the system. And the, the homeowner mentioned to me that the hot water cylinder is upstairs. So when we work our way upstairs, we'll also have a look at that. So all these heating controls here, I have to take a picture of them for all purposes again. And I'll also make a note on my paperwork. And these will be accounted for on the EPC.
Okay, so now we're upstairs with the cylinder. So we can see this one's got a factory foam fitted insulation on it, and it's also got a thermostat on it. So I'm gonna make a quick note of that, and I've also taken a picture of it for all its purposes. And we'll also take a bit of information on the type of pump the cylinder has. Okay, so now I've got all the information on the heating system. I'm gonna pop round room by room, taking a bit of information on the, the lighting in each room, the heating in each room, the glazing, and any secondary heating here. So as we can see here, this property's got an open chimney, and it's also heated by radiators. And I'm gonna take a bit of information on the windows throughout the property. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna get a measurement of, measurement of the walls just to show the wall thickness. And this is just for audits and purposes again, and it's just to show that it's a normal cavity construction and it's, and it's not a solid brick wall there. Yeah, so now I'm up on the first floor. And the first thing I tend to do when I get up on the first floor is I'm just going to get a room height just from the floor to the ceiling. So that's about 2.35 metres, which is the very average room height for a property this age. And I'm just going to work my way around the rooms up here again. Same thing, looking at the lighting in each room, the heating in each room and the glazing in each room. Everyone. So now I'm up in a loft space of the property and the main reason I'm up here is just to get a measurement of the loft insulation. So I've got my tape measure in there and it looks like this loft has about 100 mm of insulation or four inches. So most of the time as we're popping around the property, we can gather most of the information we need from the property itself. Sometimes homeowners may have done additional work like loft conversions, updating double glazed windows, insulating walls internally, and in them instances we may need some documentary evidence just to support what the homeowners told us. So that's my site visit done. The rest of the, rest of the assessment is all done from our accredited software and the EPC will be lodged onto the EPC register. I hope you find this informative.